Zoom H6 includes an XY mic capsule and a MS or mid side mic capsule. And in this video, we're going to compare these two for close voice work, such as a YouTube video, narration, voiceovers, podcasts, and applications such as that. So let's start the mic war. Here we are in Pro Tools and we have several samples to listen to from the Zoom H6, the XY capsule and the MS capsule. For the MS capsule, the sides are turned off. That's probably how you would use it for close voice work. And of course, we're positioned directly down the middle for the XY stereo microphones as well. That way we have a great center image there, even though it's a, a stereo track. We have raw samples. We have processed samples. The processed samples are processed through Isotope Nectar 2, and that's because Nectar 2 has everything you need within one interface to make a professional sounding voice track. I'm talking things like EQ, compression, limiter, gates, de so on and so forth. Also on the samples from 12 inches and closer, I've also used some Isotope Voice Denoise to get rid of some of that background noise, but you'll of course hear that background noise in the raw, in the raw samples. These microphones are extremely sensitive. So for the raw samples, nothing has been processed. The only thing you'll notice is there is some clip gain, some extra volume on the raw samples. That's because if this was down at, let's say, close to zero, and we heard this from around two feet away, and then we heard the process sample, listen to the sound of the voice, which obviously is much, much louder. It doesn't make for a very good testing environment. So we have, of course, raised that volume on the raw sample. So with all that said, Let's go ahead and start the mic war between the Zoom H6 XY mic capsule versus the MS mic capsule. Zoom H6 XY microphones at about two feet away. Two feet away from the Zoom H6 XY microphones. The Zoom MS microphone from around two feet away. How does it sound from around two feet away? Listen to the sound of the voice from around two feet away from the MS microphone. The Zoom H6 XY microphone at about two feet away. Two feet away from the Zoom H6 XY microphones. The Zoom MS microphone from around two feet away. How does it sound from around two feet away? Listen to the sound of the voice from around two feet away from the MS microphone. The Zoom H6 XY microphones from about one foot away. Listen to the voice, is it clear? Is it articulate? How does it sound? Do we get any proximity effect yet? How does the voice sound? Is this the sort of sound that you want for your podcast or for your YouTube video? The Zoom H6 MS microphone. Sides are off. We are about one foot away. Listen to the sound of the voice. Is it clear? Is it articulate? Is there background noise? What are you hearing? Listen intently to the sound of the voice. Maybe use headphones if you want to, to accurately hear the Zoom H6 MS or mid side microphone from about one foot away. The Zoom H6 XY microphones from about one foot away. Listen to the voice. Is it clear? Is it articulate? How does it sound? Do we get any proximity effect yet? How does the voice sound? Is this the sort of sound that you want for your podcast or for your YouTube video? The Zoom H6 MS microphone. Sides are off. We are about one foot away. Listen to the sound of the voice. Is it clear? Is it articulate? Is there background noise? What are you hearing? Listen intently to the sound of the voice. Maybe use headphones if you want to, to accurately hear the Zoom H6 MS or mid side microphone from about one foot away. The Zoom H6 XY microphones at around six inches away. Now, as you can tell from this distance, it really sounds pretty good, at least in my opinion about six inches away from the XY microphones here on the Zoom H6. It captures the voice very well. It's articulate, it's open, it sounds good overall. That's the XY microphones on the Zoom H6 from around six inches away. The Zoom MS microphone from around six inches away. At this distance, you can really hear that it opens up. It sounds like any other condenser microphone whenever you start getting closer to it. It sounds really good on voice. It picks up things. In my opinion, it's very articulate. Overall, I am currently directly in front of the capsule. The capsule is pointing directly at me. Of course, those sides are off on the Zoom H6 MS microphone from around six inches away.
the Zoom H6 XY microphones at around six inches away. Now, as you can tell from this distance, it really sounds pretty good, at least in my opinion, about six inches away from the XY microphones here on the Zoom H6. It captures the voice very well. It's articulate, it's open, it sounds good overall. That's the XY microphones on the Zoom H6 from around six inches away. The Zoom MS microphone from around six inches away. At this distance, you can really hear that it opens up. It sounds like any other condenser microphone whenever you start getting closer to it. It sounds really good on voice. It picks up things. In my opinion, it's very articulate. Overall, I am currently directly in front of the capsule. The capsule is pointing directly at me. Of course, those sides are off on the Zoom H6 MS microphone from around six inches away. The Zoom H6 XY microphones from around two inches away. So now we're really close. We're right up there on these microphones. Uh, are we experiencing a proximity effect that you get with, say, a large condenser microphone? How does it sound? Is the voice clear? Is it articulate? Is this the sort of sound you want for your podcast or your YouTube video or whatever sort of close miking work uh, you need to do? This is the Zoom H6 XY microphones at about two inches away. Right now, I'm right in the middle of these microphones, but if I go off to one side or if I go off into the other side, obviously that's going to affect the balance of our signal there, whether it's left or, or right. Again, around two inches away from the Zoom H6 XY microphones. The Zoom H6 MS microphone from around two inches away. At two inches, you're really listening to see how does it sound? Do we get that proximity effect? Does it give you an enhanced low end response? Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe that's what you want. Is it accurate? Is it clear? Is it articulate? Those are the things that matter when it comes to YouTube videos, narration, voiceovers, and podcasts. So again, around two inches away from the Zoom H6 MS microphone. The Zoom H6 XY microphones from around two inches away. So now we're really close. We're right up there on these microphones. Uh, are we experiencing a proximity effect that you get with, say, a large condenser microphone? How does it sound? Is the voice clear? Is it articulate? Is this the sort of sound you want for your podcast or your YouTube video or whatever sort of close miking work uh, you need to do? This is the Zoom H6 XY microphones at about two inches away. Right now, I'm right in the middle of these microphones, but if I go off to one side or if I go off into the other side, obviously that's going to affect the balance of our signal there, whether it's left or, or right. Again, around two inches away from the Zoom H6 XY microphones. The Zoom H6 MS microphone from around two inches away. At two inches, you're really listening to see how does it sound? Do we get that proximity effect? Does it give you an enhanced low end response? Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe that's what you want. Is it accurate? Is it clear? Is it articulate? Those are the things that matter when it comes to YouTube videos, narration, voiceovers, and podcasts. So again, around two inches away from the Zoom H6 MS microphone. And there we have it. Man, the mic war is now complete. The Zoom XY. <laughs> Zoom XY uh, microphones versus the versus the uh, Zoom H6 MS microphone capsule. You heard raw samples. You heard processed samples. So leave your comment below. Which of these microphones would you use? Uh, do you think sounds best for close voice work? In my opinion, they both could work just fine. It really just depends on your own on your own preference. But that is the mic war here, man. The Zoom H6. XY mic capsule versus the Zoom H6 MS mic capsule for close voice work for your podcast, for your YouTube video, for your voiceover narration, so on and so forth. The Zoom H6 XY mic capsule versus the Zoom H6 MS mic capsule. Who won this mic war?